The museum plans on celebrating the holidays this year a little differently. A lot of our programming is going to be virtual. My name is Allison Grazia and I am the Manager of Public Engagement at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. One of our newest digital offerings is our Discovery Programming, which is a collection of webinars, workshops, and conversations with not only CMNH curators and staff, but also outside organizations. Some of our upcoming topics are going to include discussions with local breweries on fermentation, as well as fire ecology, which is actually really important here to a lot of land within Northeast Ohio. Conservation can start right here in your own backyard. There are animals in Ohio, in New York, in America. There are plants in your own backyard. There are bees in your own backyard that you can help. Hello, my name is Del. I'm one of the biologists here at the Wildlife Rescue Exhibit, the newest touring exhibit here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. This particular live animal exhibit focuses on conservation and rescue stories in the wild. Animals that have been in trouble in the wild, animals that have been endangered, animals that have been pulled back from the brink of extinction. You're gonna hear hopefully lots of uplifting stories about animals that are doing much better now than they used to do, things you can do at home as well. And it's gonna be a very safe, interactive, fun experience where you get to meet a ton of animals, including our boa constrictor here, and a 15-foot Burmese python, one of the largest snakes in the world. People are always expecting me to direct people to the cute furry animals. We had your opossum walking around here, which is a very cute animal. People are immediately attracted to cute animals. We have cute ferrets that people are immediately going to be in love with. However, the animals that I'm going to direct people to the most, the animals that I'm going to bring out for the public the most while I'm here, are animals like this. Animals that are scarier. Animals that have more misconceptions about them. If you guys hear that a panda is in trouble, or sloths are in trouble, or any other cute animals are in trouble, people are immediately on the side of that cute furry animal. However, animals like this, like frogs, tarantulas, insects, the animals that are not as cute are actually just as important to the ecosystem and they will be uh, ones that we will emphasizing just as much as the cute ones. We obviously have a ton of space to properly socially distance people. All of the interactive components of the exhibit, we are doing touch free. So instead of touching the touch screens with your actual finger, we're gonna give everyone a little pen that has a little stylus at the end. So this exhibit is here for about the next seven months, so well into 2021. If you follow us on social media, if you follow us on Facebook, we're gonna be posting pictures, doing live feeds. There are a lot of ways you can interact with us without actually physically stepping through the doors. So Happy the Helper is our unofficial yet official mascot that we have for our Happy for the Holidays campaign. Happy is our Haplocanthosaurus Delphi. Happy is really unique to the museum because he is the only known complete specimen of his kind that's able to be displayed in its entirety. What we want is to encourage kids to write digital letters to Happy, telling them about what their hopes and dreams are for the future and for the museum. And then they will receive a letter back in the mail after the holidays from Happy himself. Letters to Happy is really exciting for us because we want to see what our community is hoping for for the future, for the next 100 years for the museum. And it's really great because we feel like it totally embraces the museum's mission to explore, engage, and empower for a better tomorrow.